I've been diving deep into Microsoft's Autogen, and honestly, it's one of those tools that makes you feel like you're getting a glimpse into the future of AI development. But let's be real, it's not for everyone. Autogen is Microsoft's open source framework for building multi-agent AI systems. Instead of having one AI assistant doing everything, you create multiple AI agents that actually talk to each other to solve complex problems. Think researcher, writer, and critic all collaborating on a task. Here's what surprised me. It's completely free. Microsoft released this as open source, which is refreshing when everyone else is charging premium prices for AI tools. The framework itself is solid. I've been testing it for weeks now, and the agent conversations are genuinely impressive when they work well. Autogen Studio is their low-code interface designed to make this multi-agent stuff accessible without heavy coding. You can drag and drop agents, configure their personalities, then watch them collaborate. In theory, it's amazing. But here's where it gets complicated. Autogen is still very much a developer tool. Even with Autogen Studio's visual interface, you're going to need technical chops to make it sing. The learning curve is steep, especially if you're not comfortable with AI concepts like system prompts and agent orchestration. Let's talk about what actually works well. When you nail the agent configurations, the conversations between agents are genuinely useful. I've built workflows where agents debate different approaches, fact check each other, and iterate on solutions. It's like having a team of specialists working together. The major catch? This is cutting edge stuff that's still evolving rapidly. They just released version 0.4 in January, which was a complete rewrite. That's great for innovation, but means things break, documentation lags behind, and your workflows might need updates. Here's my honest take. Autogen is fascinating if you're building experimental AI applications or want to explore multi-agent systems. It's perfect for researchers, advanced developers, or anyone who gets excited about pushing boundaries. But if you're looking for a polished plug-and-play solution for everyday tasks, you'll probably find it more frustrating than helpful. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.